Well, I really wish I could be this cocky if I play the game, but the problem is I really cannot. Wow. Really want to point out that thing is beautiful. I want to have that. Can I have it? Oh, which time? Within strange alternate rela uh, area place? I don't know. That is beautiful. Oh, you're still alive? What? Nope. And you're not gonna get that. Ooh, that was beautiful. I, s I know that I have torture attacks. But I don't care about that right now. Let's punish you. I haven't punished a bunch lately. So, I guess that's okay. Oh god, that was beautiful. Can I have that again? And more witch time. Sure, why not? Give you the boots. Which is probably one of my favorite things to use in the game so far. And... Yeah, sure, why not? And... Boom, and someone's gonna get tortured here, and you actually attacked me before my torture attack went off? That's bull. And whoop, whoop, whoop. And nope, somehow I went, came to this place. Hi, how? I didn't even do anything. And again, nobody did anything. This time I saw someone do something. And boom. Ah, come on! You cannot do this to me. And step, 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 step. And my big sword. Nope. This time it's your time to be stomped on and get cut. Oh, oh, nice. You have a shield. It's good for you, I say. It's a little bit problematic for me. Ouch! Sorry, did not want to do that. Uh, my dodge don't work every time. It's either me or the game that's goofing me over there, but I feel like I'm doing it at the right time. And tuck, punch you once. I did it. I survived. Just singing? Mommy! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down, little one. I am not your mother. But, Mommy... Will you quit calling me Mommy? <laughs> oh. <laughs> if there's two things I hate in this world, it's cockroaches and crying babies. Well, a crying baby cockroach would be truly terrible. So don't you dare cry. Yes, Mommy. Fine. You've got to be a strong little one to survive in a place like this. What's your name, anyway? Cereza. Cereza? You're not from Figrid, are you, little one? Where are you from? Uh, I'm from my house. Well, now, I'll hazard a guess this isn't your home. So what on earth are you doing here? My daddy told me to come here. And whereabouts is this daddy of yours? He was at work, but now I don't know where he's gone. I want to go home. <sighs> I can't just drag you along wherever I go, little one. So you better not be getting attached to me. Yes, mommy. Oh. Come now, little one. I'll help you out of here. But that's all. And you have to promise there'll be no crying. A single tear and you'll be crying alone. Got it? Okay, mommy. Oh. But that's incredibly cute. And the game... And the chapter is still not over. Hmm, interesting. I thought for sure that this would be an end point right here. So, this way? Trying to get over the gap in this destroyed bridge with a channel 
in town is too dangerous. I'll have to find a safer way around. Well, then let's go over to this door and see what's over on this side. Boom! Well, on second guess, I think a gap in the bridge is safer than what's ever going on out here. Pretty sure the bridge is safer. Holy p Jesus! Well, let's take this and. The Lagoon of Faith and Vigrid's Rise. Let's read about that. In recent days, Vigrid has seen the rise of the Ithaval group, whatever they are, a conglomerate whose rapid development has changed the face of the city. The man-made island off the coast of Vigrid, Isla del Sol, is a clear example of their technolo technological style. It is a modern metropolis home to many residents. However, their flight from the old city has led to the onshore historical dis district's rapid decline, a process, the process that will likely end in the areas becoming, areas becoming ruins free of inhabitants. Those who live on Isla del Sol and those who have remained in the old city all worship the Laguna. Gods who are the heart of the faith in many ways like sun worships, sun worship. This faith has been at the people's core since ancient times and forms the very heart of the cultural, cultural development. It is said that Ithaval group itself was developed in conjunction with the Laguna. And its CEO is held up as the paragon of Laguna worship, the living symbol of the people's faith. He is pur purported, purported to be descended from the said to be uh, said to be annihilated Lumen sages. Although I cannot confirm the ver veracity of this claim. At any rate, the devotion which people hold towards the Ithaval group is without question. Vigrid's appearance is not the only part of the city to have changed completely. The ancient faith in the Laguna is now inexor inexorably linked to the Ithaval group as it pushes forward its modernization. Thus, the city has lost its previous vi visage uh, to be replaced at alarming speed. And all with the appear consent of the Laguna worship big worshipping ingredients. Yeah, interesting. Huh. So I'm taking it we're gonna tangle with them at one point? Nay, that's not a good thing. Uh there is something that fall down. Can I? Ow. Come I cannot punch you. Pick that up. That works actually. Come on now. That's not even fair and I cannot do anything to them. Which is even more so frustrating for me. Tell me, how am I supposed to do anything to them if I cannot do anything to them? Well, I mean I can do something to them with the street light, but that's still incredibly annoying to me. Well, I have a streetlight to deal with those guys now. Not the most efficient way to deal with that. Well, actually, extremely efficient, but super slow. And punch. And it's gone. I really did not like that. Oh, I could have lifted that as well, I suppose. Anywhere. Something that I should have to know about. The answer seems to be no. Stay up there, Sorel. This area has been closed for impro improvements to the infrastructure. It may be fenced off, but the fence isn't so strong that it can't break that it can't break through. Yes, we already have done that before. More enemies. Oh. I'm gonna punch you with whatever I find here. Lift that. And throw it. And then I pick that up. I punch you with that. And punch through that gate. And then lift that. And throw it. I'm pretty sure there's more that I can lift up and throw. More. 
I need more to throw. There's something that I can pick up and then punch you with. And then lift that and then punch that open. There needs to be more. Give me that. Don't worry, I have a giant... Can I... The fact that I cannot dodge with those giant things in my hand is a little bit tedious. I need to lift that and throw it. I need more to throw at you. Oh, there's... I cannot get to the guard anymore. That's annoying. Lift and throw. Stop it. Leave the child alone. This is not nice, not cool. It's a little bit tedious that I have to do it that way. But I'm gonna throw that at you. And then I'm gonna have to open that up. Is there more that I can throw? Little one, you're making this really hard for me. Sarah, can you maybe go away from that a bit? You should be to get out there. You were crushing through everything before and then now you have problems with that. That's funny. Let's see. Purgatorio, center of the trinity. Yeah, sure. Let's learn about Purgatorio. One of the unique aspects of the religion in this town is the people's belief that the world is actually made up of three unique realms layered on top of each other. Human world, Inferno and Paradiso, the trinity of realities. However, the wavelength of the spirit energy in each of these realities is different and inhabitants of each area are unable to interfere, interfere with the other's affairs. Despite the fact the worlds are layered, it's said the Lumen Sages and Umbrian Witches had the unique ability to pass into a realm known as Purgatorio and travel amongst the Trinity. It is believed that the Witches and Sages each made contra contracts with the Masters of the Light and Dark Worlds and can use special abilities granted to them by their Masters. Underlings all of the, underlying all of this though is the pre presence of the Trinity of Realities. Even during the Witch Hunts it seems those suspected of being witches were lured into Purgatorio, an act the people called being spirited away, and their presence in the no man's land was used as justification for further acts of persecution. To further explain Purgatorio, one must understand that those within the realm are unable to see or touch those in the human world, nor, a, nor a, are humans in their own world are able to intervene in the affairs of Purgatorio. Moreover, what we identify as material objects may have different appearances in the different realities. Yet, when these items are destroyed in one world, they will be destroyed in all worlds. This may explain why many place, uh, place religious inter interpretations upon the phenom phenomena of unexplained destruction that occur during their everyday lives. Oh, that would make an interesting thought. Um, I actually wanted to grab you, but you flew away. What is that? There's a heavy lithograph here. It depicts the seal of the sun. Does it mean I made... Can't... Oh! Little one, are you coming? I think I need you on this side. Come here. Come here, Sherelle. Sherelle? Sherelle? I did not catch how she pronounced it, but... Let's check it. There's an entirely different dimension on the other side of the gate. It is a fantastic environment, brimming with light. Let's go in there. scary the first time you see them. So, where was I? Oh, yes. Your kind invitation. I do hope you've prepared dessert as well. What 
a lovely tea party. And dancing, too. Cereza, my dear, watch and learn. Whoop. I dodged because I wanted to activate Witch Time. It would have made this a heck of a lot easier. But I can't. I think I'm gonna die here in a moment. Can you stop attacking sweet Ceresa? It's not the polite thing to do here for you. It's also not your... That actually worked. I'm gonna take that as many times over as I can. Whoa, there's something pulling me over there, and that's not cool. Whoop, 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 whoop. Don't you dare. Don't attack her. She's just a little girl. We don't do that. Hey, that actually worked again. And. Boom. Step one of you, at least. Teresa, you need to be a little bit more careful. And also, I caught your name the way she's. They say it right now. Um, what was I supposed to press here? Hey, and kick you. That dealt with one of you guys. Whoop. Nope. Oh, it's just a feather. And sword. And this time I gotcha. Are we done here? Anyone else want to have a piece of that? Well, except for him over there. Uh, I still don't have any healies. Actually, give me a second, I think I can make some healies. 